Welcome to We Robot. Today, we'll be diving into Elon Musk's latest groundbreaking announcements. At Tesla's We Robot event in Los Angeles, Musk revealed the new Robo Taxi, a fully autonomous vehicle priced at under $30,000. He also introduced the Robo Van, a 20 passenger electric vehicle, and shared exciting updates on Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus. Let's break it all down. Welcome to the We Robot Party. During the live show on YouTube, the event emphasized, to create a sustainable future, we must democratize transportation. We do this by making driving more efficient, affordable, and safe. Autonomy makes this future possible. Let's start with Elon Musk revealing the Tesla Robo Taxi. As you can see, I just uh, arrived in the Robo Taxi, the cyber cab, and uh, there's uh, 20 more where that came from. So they've been traveling. They're all, there's no people in them, as you can see. The car's just going by with no people. And we have, uh, we have 50 fully autonomous cars here tonight. Uh, so you'll see model Ys, and the cyber cab, uh, all driverless. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab. There's no steering wheel or pedals. So I hope this goes well. I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit. Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city, um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of a uh, cyber cab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. We do expect actually to, to start a fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. And that, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. And then we, we, we expect to be in production with the, the Cyber Cab, which is really um, highly optimized for autonomous transport uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with timeframes, um, but, but in, to, in, in 2026. So, yeah. Before 2027, let me put it that way. <laughs> When you when you get in, you'll see like it's really quite a wild experience to just be in a car with no steering wheel, no pedals, no controls, and it feels great. Something we're also doing is, uh, and it's really high time we did this, is uh, inductive charging. So the rubber taxi has no plug; it, it just uh, goes over the inductive charger and charges. So yeah. Despite the overwhelming news generating a positive response from viewers and people around the world, the event presented a futuristic vision but left attendees feeling confused as there were no detailed specifications provided. Additionally, the ambitious timeline for release raised skepticism about the feasibility of Tesla's promises. One of the attendees, Marques Brownlee, known for his tech reviews, shared his experience and thoughts on the robots and the overall event. It might be the weirdest tech event I've ever been to. Uh, you might have seen some clips from it at this point. I explored the insane looking robo van and I talked to the Optimus robot and then I left feeling kind of confused. It was just a it was a weird event. Skepticism about timely delivery. There is doubt about Tesla's ability to deliver the robo taxi on time, given the company's history of delays with past projects, like the Cybertruck. 
lack of detailed specifications, concerns exist regarding the absence of concrete details about the RoboTaxi's specifications such as range, battery size, and charging logistics, making it difficult to assess its practicality. Inflated promises Previous promises by Tesla regarding pricing and availability have been questioned, leading to skepticism about whether the RoboTaxi will truly be priced under $30,000. Unrealistic features. The concept of a fully self-driving vehicle without manual override raises doubts about the feasibility of such technology in real-world conditions. Comparison to other concepts. The RoboVan concept, while futuristic, is viewed with skepticism regarding its practicality and likelihood of actual production akin to other overly ambitious concept vehicles seen at tech showcases. Speaking of RoboVan, at Tesla's WeRobot event on October 10th, the main focus was on the new RoboTaxi, but the RoboVan concept also caught people's attention. With its futuristic look and fully self-driving capabilities, the RoboVan impressed the audience, even though there's no official date for when it will be available. This vehicle can hold up to 20 passengers and is designed for both personal and business use. But pricing and release details haven't been shared yet. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, confirmed the RoboVan will be built and hinted that it will look similar to the concept shown at the event. The design is different from regular vans, with an Art Deco style that makes it look more like a stylish bus or train car. Like the RoboTaxi, the RoboVan doesn't have a steering wheel or pedals, as it's fully autonomous. Inside, the RoboVan focuses on comfort. Tesla shared images showing a layout that feels more like a modern lounge than a regular vehicle, with soft lighting, seats facing each other, large screens at each end, and a sliding glass door for easy access. The van's flexible design also allows it to be used for cargo transportation, while the RoboVan gives a sneak peek into the future of self-driving transportation, many details remain unknown. The RoboTaxi is expected to start production in 2026, and the RoboVan could follow in 2027, but nothing is confirmed yet. Elon Musk, known for setting big goals, even joked about his optimistic timelines during the event. A major challenge for the RoboVan like all of Tesla's autonomous vehicles, is getting regulatory approval for its self-driving software before it can be used on the roads. And here's Elon Musk introduction during the event. Oh, and uh, also, what, 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 what happens if you need a vehicle that uh, is bigger than a Model Y? The, the Robovan. The Robovan is, uh, this is a, we, we're going to make this, and it's going to look like that. Now, can you imagine going down the streets and you see this coming towards you? That'd be sick! So this can, this can carry up to 20 people, and it can also uh, transport goods. So you can configure it for goods transport within a city, uh, or transport of up to 20 people at a time. So this is gonna, <laughs> the Robovan is what's gonna solve for high density. So if you if you want to take a sports team somewhere or um, you're looking to, to really get uh, the cost of travel down to, I don't know, five, 10 cents a mile, then you can use the Robovan. Some people call it the Robovan, but... Uh, <laughs> Speaking of robots, so everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. It's the same techniques. It's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with the Optimus. 
And uh, as you can see, we, we started up with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we progressed dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2-D2 C-3PO. And I think at scale, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Probably less, less than a car is my prediction, long term. Now, you know, take us a minute to get to the long term, but, um, but fundamentally at scale of the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of. It will do, and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Tesla's recent event spotlighted not only two new cars, but also the groundbreaking Optimus robot. This humanoid robot has made major strides, now capable of answering questions in real time using artificial intelligence, without pre-programmed responses. Hey Optimus, how much of you is AI? I can't disclose just how much. That's something you'll have to find out later. I would say it might be some. I'm not gonna confirm, but it might be some. Optimus, it's insane, it's even talking. Hi to my friend John. John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello John. How are you? That's crazy, I'm talking to a robot. Uh, from San Jose. Probably from where you were from where you were born in uh, the Silicon Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you live in Alton Valley or do you live in the Santa Teresa area? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos? Oh wonderful. Yeah. Where do you live? There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah, this is this is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our bills, and that's where we live though. Wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Optimus's versatility was on full display as it performed household tasks like picking up packages, watering plants, and even interacting with guests. What's impressive is how human-like its interactions have become including its ability to respond thoughtfully and perform gestures during conversations. That's I got sick. another one. There you go. Oh. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Can you give a hell yeah, Optimus? <laughs> one standout moment at the event was when seven Optimus robots took the stage, dancing in sync. One even served drinks while dressed in clothes and a cowboy hat. Although one robot showed a slight balance issue, the robot's fluidity and responsiveness were far more advanced than in previous demonstrations. Optimus's ability to communicate naturally left a strong impression. It handled casual conversations with ease, responding to questions about rock, paper, scissors, and even playing the game. While it lost to a human player, it responded graciously, adding to its human-like demeanor Optimus also sang happy birthday to an attendee and demonstrated the ability to switch between different accents, including Texas and Spanish. I'm Chow. I'm Chow. Chow. Yes. All right, everyone, let's all sing happy birthday together while I can. Yeah, baby. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you further showcasing its adaptability. 
Tesla's use of AI allows the robot to learn from every interaction, improving with each conversation and task. Elon Musk emphasized that Optimus could become a staple in homes and workplaces, predicting that millions could eventually be produced. Tesla plans to launch the first generation for internal use in factories, with the second generation aimed at high-profile customers like Amazon and Walmart, helping these companies manage labor shortages. The first public sales of Optimus are expected by the end of 2025, with prices starting around $50,000 to $70,000, eventually dropping to $20,000 as production scales. Additionally, a rental program is planned, with costs ranging from $100 to $500 per month, giving people a chance to experience Optimus before committing to a purchase. Tesla has made incredible progress, surpassing competitors like Boston Dynamics in just three years. With Optimus Gen 2 already released only eight months after Gen 1, the improvements are evident. Better movement, smarter responses, and more practical applications. Tesla's robots, which can already fold clothes and perform other household tasks, have the potential to revolutionize industries from manufacturing to healthcare. Elon Musk believes that Optimus may become Tesla's most important product with the potential to change how we live, work, and interact with technology. As the technology continues to evolve, the dream of having a humanoid robot in every home seems closer than ever. In conclusion, while Tesla's RoboTaxi promises a groundbreaking vision for the future of transportation, there are significant hurdles that could impede its successful rollout. From skepticism about timely delivery and inflated promises to concerns over autonomy and practical specifications, it's clear that the path to a fully autonomous, cost-effective vehicle is fraught with challenges. As we watch this space unfold, it's essential to stay informed and critically assess the developments surrounding Tesla's ambitious plans. Will the robo-taxi become a reality or will it remain another bold vision that fails to materialize? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you found this discussion insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Tesla's Robo Taxi? Are you excited or skeptical? Let's continue the conversation.